as per usual, PowerAd did send me this Bluetooth speaker for this review, but everything I say in this video is my own opinions. They did not tell me to say any of this. This is uh, the complete and truthful review that I just wrote. So here we go. This is the MusicFly Bluetooth speaker from PowerAd. As of today on Amazon, it retails for $60, comes in blue and yellow, and falls in between the last two speakers I reviewed, the Amaya Go and the Macau Bluetooth speaker, which have weirdly switched places in terms of price. So what can the speaker do in comparison to the other two? Well, for one, the speaker has a 12 hour playtime at 70% volume, which is right in between these last two speakers as well. With that battery, it also brings a luxury feature of having a USB port to charge a phone using the internal battery, along with the indicator light. Near the same area of the speaker, it also has an auxiliary port in, and a micro USB in for charging. On the top of the device, we have the usual buttons, power, play pause, volume down slash last track, volume up slash last track, and a button to answer phone calls. The lights surrounding this area are cool, but they are distracting in the light situations. The design of the speaker is rugged, as is meant for outside use. It features mostly hard plastic, rubber, and a bit of metal grating over the drivers. So one thing you can do with this is shower with it. Um, it's IPX7 waterproof, so it should be completely water resistant and uh, submergible. According to the Amazon page, anyway. According to the booklet, it says you shouldn't submerge it, but it is IPX7 waterproof, so you shouldn't actually have to worry about it. Overall, the speaker sounds pretty good and very in line with this price range. It does have more notable distortion at full volume compared to the Amias Go, unfortunately. But you do pay $20 less for mostly the same features. Other than that, it sounds really good. Not too much bass, good clarity with all ranges of sound. One weird quirk this thing has is on the increase from volume 4 to volume 5 on my iPhone. It's very dramatic and seems significantly louder. It also features some very annoying pairing noises that go on for way too long in my opinion. Overall, this speaker fits with its price point. The quirks are a bit nitpicky and most people can look right past them. If you want a cheaper Bluetooth speaker with great features like waterproofing and the ability to charge your phone, but you're willing to give up some sound quality at the highest volume, go ahead and pick the speaker up. As always, the link is in the description. Thanks to PowerAd for setting the speaker out as usual. Everything I said in this video was based on my own opinions and PowerAd had no influence on what I said. So that's going to be it for this video. Go ahead and like if you've liked it. Favorite the videos if you favorite. Don't forget to share the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you all later. Take care.